Okay, I'm going to start putting the, uh, the uh, body together. I, I did do the vase yesterday, and uh, it, I just didn't think it was worthwhile videoing me just putting clay on the uh, base here, so I didn't do that. Time to play with some clay. Anyway, I'm going to try to do as much as I can today. I'm really sluggish for some reason today. It's been a... Didn't sleep well last night, so I don't know how well I'm going to handle today. Nothing wrong. I just... Some nights are good, some nights are not for sleeping. When you get in the higher age group... You'll understand what I'm talking about. I'm going to really just basically sketch in the body. Um, and uh, then I'm going to do the uh, arc, the model arc, out of uh, monster clay. And I just got a brand new batch of monster clay today. Uh, shipped from Amazon. And... Uh, so I've got plenty of that to work with now. Last batch lasted me for a couple of years, just using it for little odds and end pieces. There's a lot of information out there about uh, Noah and uh, the Ark. And I, I guess it really depends on whether you believe in what happened in the Bible. Well, I got the legs blocked in, and uh, now I'm going to do the arms, and then I'll do the head. It's raining outside. Thank goodness it's not snowing. Last week this time... We were getting snow. Oh, by the way, I didn't say it yesterday. Uh, I decided to go with the 24-inch uh, figure. And because, uh, you know, it just worked out better for the log. Also, it gives me a better ability to work on his face. Because you get down to less than 24 inches and the uh, faces start getting hard to work on because they're so small. At least for me, anyway. <laughs> I can't really do the hands until I get the boat model in his hands. And, uh... All I can do right now is just kind of block everything in. I'm running out of clay. I've got to go get... i got a shipment of clay, and I've got to go open the box and get a block of clay and get it softened up. So that's probably the, what I'll do overnight. All right, I got the uh, body blocked in. And I mean, it's just blocked in. I'm not paying attention to uh, de anatomy details. I'll be adding that as I go along. But... Uh, just blocking it in. And uh, I've got my jig set up for the uh, head. Because I'll be working on that separately. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, block that in as well. I measured out the head, and I got it a little bit big. <clears throat> there we go.
All right, I'm going to take the head off and uh, put it on my jig. I'm just preparing the uh, form so I can start adding facial detail. Okay. Establish the center line. Now, from what I've read, Noah was in his four, 400th year when he started building the ark. And he was 500 when he finished. I don't know exactly how long it took. Uh, I listened uh, to a reading of the... Uh, Genesis chapter 6, there's no mention as to how long he took to build the ark. But he was 500 when he finished it. It had to take a while to, to build that big of an ark. I mean, that had to take a monstrous amount of time. Now, there are some people who speculate that he may have hired skilled laborers to help build it. But that's speculation. Nobody really knows. The Bible doesn't really cover all that information. So, all we can do is speculate. 
Now, I'm figuring that uh, he's just a couple of generations away from Adam. And Adam was a perfect person. I mean, per made perfect human. And uh, it was after the flood that uh, it said in the Bible, uh, the lifespan of a human would be uh, brought down to 120 years max. And, uh, but it took a while for that to kick in, I think. It was primarily because, you know, the people's lives are, their lifespan is governed by a lot of things. The, uh, a lot to do with the sun. Uh, it has a tendency to age a person. Um, disease, accidents, and such. And uh, I would think that for somebody who ended up living for 900 years, which uh, Noah did, he would have looked middle age at 500 years of age. He wouldn't be using a walker at this time because their bodies were aged differently than our bodies do. I'm assuming. I have nothing to back up that information. But uh, all I can do is speculate by like anybody else because we only have so much information. We do know the size of the ark because it's mentioned in there, but a lot of that had to do with uh, the length of a cubit. The length of a cubit went from the tip of the fingers to the elbow, and that was considered a uh, cubit. And it all depended on the size of uh, Noah's arm. unless he was going by a standard cubit for that time period. I'm going to put his head back on because I want to see how it looks. It doesn't look too big. Let's see, make, make sure. No, he increased in size, so I'm going to have to redo that head. That's way too big. Doggone it. See, the measurement for human anatomy is one head length for a male from center to the outside shoulder. And if I was to make this uh, head length, which I can't because it's, it's too big, you can see how much bigger that is than the uh, shoulder. And also, it, it would throw off the measurements for the everything else. So this head's going to have to be redone tomorrow. Can't do it today. Run out of clay and run out of time. And I'm going to put some more clay in to get it softened up for tomorrow. All right. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. And today it didn't work. Good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.